going on. I just wanted to um, share with you guys some interesting polling information uh, that I found today. It's from Polling Canada. And it just, you know, from Dr. Mike P. Moffitt, don't let politicians convince you otherwise. Things are bad out there. And then he shows this story, which is very interesting. And I'm just going to go over this uh, with you a little bit. So CT, uh, CTV News London requested actual numbers for a five-year comparison of usage at the St. Thomas Food Bank. So for those of you not in Ontario, there's a city in Ontario named London. St. Thomas is just outside of London. It's not the biggest city in the world, so I think these numbers are going to surprise you. The results are the last five years. 2019, 9,000 clients fed. 2020, 8,000, just a little bit of a drop. Good news. 2021, unavailable for some reason. 2022, 13,462 people. That's quite a rise in two years. Then again in 2023, 19,424 people. 2024, we're just over 8,000 people. And we're not even halfway through the damn year. So it's likely going to be close to or even more what it was in 2023. Interesting, right? Every single year that this ass clown Trudeau is in charge, things keep getting worse and worse. And this is happening everywhere. And now you have these food banks, a lot of them are running out of food. There's too many people to feed. We can't keep up with the demand. Isn't that nice, Trudeau? This is what your Canada is. This is the cost of Justin Trudeau, Canadians starving. This is not a giant city. This is nowhere close to a Toronto. 8,000 people in five months. And this guy's such a narcissist. And he's so evil that he actually thinks what he's doing is what Canadians want. Now, if you look at the combined numbers from the NDP and the Liberals, they're at about 40% of the vote. So to be fair, almost half the voters are actually, they do still kind of like him or at least believe in what he's doing. That's how that's how liberally indoctr- indoctrinated some Canadians really are. I'm happy to see they're going more with the Conservative. I really wish there was a Libertarian Party because I think they would do the best job. Um, that being said, financially speaking, opportunity, opportunity wise, I mean, you're just getting a way better deal with the conservatives. Yeah, Pierre Polyev probably has lobbyists. Yeah, he's going to fund proxy wars. The same thing is true, though. So if we're going to get screwed and we're still going to have national debt, at least housing will be more affordable. Or hopefully, like it was when he was housing minister. At least we're not going to have as high taxes. Probably be able to get food at a decent price. Maybe even have an increase in wages. I don't know. But that being said, Pierre Polyev doesn't even have to be good, to, uh, or that good to be a much better prime minister than what Justin Trudeau has. And these numbers are disgusting. Oh, but the climate, the climate. No one's going to give a shit about the climate when they're starving to death. And this over-the-top bullshit about, oh, but the world's going to end the world. They've been saying that since the 60s. You can fear monger forever. You can only starve for a few days and then you're gone. This is more pressing. Anyways, I know this is a bit of a short video. I'll be back later, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, not to ruin anyone's day, but I hope this makes a lot of people as sick as it make me as it makes me feel because... This is one of the many, 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 many reasons that we need to change.